Shaver 1000 here and Monkey. All right, so today we're going to be trying this one out. It's the again Yakisabi. Someone tell me how to pronounce that because we still got another one to do. We got a teriyaki to do. Mm -hmm. That should be good. She can't wait I for like that one. Teriyaki. I'm sorry, I had you covered up there. This is the chicken flavored. Let me get this up here for a thumbnail. Okay, so let's tear into this and see how these ones are. Okay, so we've got the uh, chicken flavored this time. I think the other one's chicken teriyaki, isn't it? Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah, so it should be pretty good. And if we get more flavors, we'll just do them as we go. I don't want to burn you guys out on this stuff, but for those of you that haven't seen the other videos, here is the uh, nutrition facts. Right there, you can pause and read. And again, I'll read the uh, microwave uh, directions. It's for a 1,000 watt microwave. Open the lid halfway and remove the two packets marked one and two. Open packet one containing dried garnish and empty into the spice into the side space between the noodles and the container. Here I'll hold this up so at least you can look at something other than my mug. <laughs> Shake gently to settle. Pour water over noodles until it reaches the fill line indicated by the arrows. There's arrows in here, I'll show that to you guys for again this is for the people who haven't seen the other ones close the lid and cook in microwave on high for four minutes after cooking leave in microwave for one minute to cool now like I said this is for a thousand watt microwave ours is a 900 watt microwave so I got a little more uh, grab, grab the corners of the tray and carefully remove from microwave product is very hot Remove the lid carefully and pour in the contents of packet two. Mix the powdered sauce until it is evenly dissolved throughout the noodles. Then enjoy. Okay, and then of course you got your, you know, caution product extremely hot and all that. Now this one's got a, a best buy date. That doesn't mean it goes bad on this date like milk, you know. You know, milk will go bad like two days before sometimes. Mm -hmm. So, but this, you know, Best Buy, uh, August 2nd of next year, 2022. So, that's pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm going to get you down here. And we're going to open this up. Okay, so Monkey got me a knife without me asking for it because I remembered everything tonight except for this, but she did. So, just as we was doing our cut away for, well, our cut from the last clip to this clip, she was reaching over and grabbing the knife for us. So, probably could use one of them forks there. Okay, so again, here's the instructions. It's in two different languages. I don't know what the second language is. Uh, mm -hmm. a la tapa hasta la... Method. I'm not sure what, but anyway, so it does have two different languages, English and whatever the other one is. And while making fun of that language, I was just trying to maybe give you an idea to see what, what, uh, what that language may be. All right. So, the, like I said, there are instructions on here in these lines here, these dotted lines here and here. Um, that's what they want you to peel it back to. So, and right here open abra that means open I'm not sure what that is abra okay so we're going to open this up right to the line okay now this one has got so they've all had something different in them but I think they all had carrots this one has some corn in it mm -hmm. right there um, a couple of them had onions, and then of course, like she read in that one, it's got different, um, just different herbs. So we're going to pour this one in first, 
so what they want you to do is just pour it down I'll show you like this down into here and shake it so let's go ahead and Oop. this one should be pretty good I hope it don't taste like any other uh, like their noodle soup yeah. I hope it's like something different, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Kind of a different flavor because all them soups start running together after a while. So yeah. take this and then shake it to settle. Alright, so just kind of like that, you know? Alright, now here's the fill line. Again, there's a. Let me get my light down here. I would think that might be Japanese. I don't think it's Japanese. You don't think No, so? I don't. Because Japanese don't have writing like that number one. Mexican then. Maybe. Yeah, just so they know. But here's the fill line, which is oops, this line right here. So I got some water here. I just grabbed a little cup this time and pour over the noodles. And I'm just going to go right to that line. So it takes a cup, and I know this because I went over a little bit more than a cup, and I, there's just a little bit left in there, so. All right, now we're gonna go put it in the microwave for four minutes. Well, I'll go a little bit more. Um, but then we're gonna leave it set for one minute, and we're gonna come back to you guys in just a second. Hang tight, guys, say that, monkey. Hang tight, guys. <laughs> okay, so we've got, <clears throat> let me turn it towards you. We've got this out. <clears throat> These uh, packets really do smell good. The number one packets with the dried stuff. Mm -hmm. You can really tell a difference in the smell. Um, and it's, mm, that smells good. Like the, the last one we did, you couldn't really smell anything. Like the hot one. Right. But these ones, you, you sure do. Of course, you can smell the noodles, but the noodles are just, I guess, probably the same ones they have in the cups, you know? Mm -hmm. So. Get this kind of mixed up just a little bit here, and then now let's put our. Now, if you got a 900 watt microwave, I put this one on four minutes and 15 seconds. But like, if you got a 700 watt microwave, you might want to consider doing close to five minutes. Go four and check it if you have to. Monkey's over here, one <laughs> looking at it. I see Ooh. what the vegetables are. Yeah. Mm, that's nice. This this smells good too. Mm -hmm. Mix in after cooking. Now this is a product of the USA. I think I think this whole thing is made here in the United States. Okay, so what we're going to do is Monkey and I, as always, are going to take turns and. Um, yes, it is. And we're going to mix this up really good. Takes a little bit of time. Like I said, if you had chopsticks, it may, you know, not clump together as much and uh, mix together a little quicker. But really, I mean, if you're in that big of a hurry, you know, it's still quicker than stopping at a fast food joint, you know. So stay tuned. Monkey's got her video up of the. Uh, Edward Scissorhand House filming location. Um, I have not even started editing mine yet because I'm looking for some clips to put in with it rather than just still images. But if I have to, I'll do the still images. But I like to put some clips in. So I have not edited mine yet. I do have an interview. Did you get the interview with the owner on your camera? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so she got the interview as well. So mm -hmm. check her out. And that'll kind of give you a prelude of what mine's going to be. So, all right. So we're going to mix these up, and we'll be back with you when we get ready to try these. Hang okay, so we are back. And we're going to give this a try. Yep. You can uh, break these noodles up, too, if you don't like them this long. Like if you want to eat it with a spoon. Oh, yeah. You can like do the uh, top ramen, the 
ones in the baggies. Mm -hmm. Break them up. Well, same way with these. You can break the noodles up if you want to eat it with a spoon. Yep. They don't have to be like this. You can mix stuff in here too if you wanted. Hmm. Did you already taste it? Well, the corn. I got a piece and I bit. It's a little hard. Hmm. Corn is. Well, it always is on these things. Yeah. They're always. All right. Hinky donk. Hinky donk. Okay, here we go. Mm. What do you think, Monk? That's good. It's not spectacular. No. Um, it is good. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'd eat it. No problem. Yeah, we can get more, I mean, for a buck. I mean. Um, do you like these ones better than the other ones I give you? The, the cup ones? Mm-mm. No. They taste a lot like the cup ones. Come over here. I'm sorry. They taste a lot like the cup ones, but not identical. The noodles are different. A little different flavor, which is I weird, think, but... <clears throat> hmm? I think there's more flavor in these. Uh, maybe. I than the other ones. Well, there's less broth. Yeah. Because this is not actually a soup. It's noodles. Right. So, keep that in mind, too. But, yeah. I mean... It's okay. Um, I'll tell you, I, I give it a two thumbs up. I give it a, a seven, which is pretty respectable. I think, you know, the way I grade stuff, so. Hmm. What do you think? I give it an eight. You give it an eight, two thumbs up and an eight? Yeah. Yeah? I like the flavor. I think there's more I flavor do too. in it. I do too. I just, uh, like hot ones I really liked and what was the first ones we did? Um, was it the barbecue one? Yeah. Was that the first one? Yeah, the barbecue one and um We did the barbecue one, we did the hot we, one. Yeah. And we did another one. We did this one. No. But we did this is our fourth one. Oh, it's it? Yeah. What did we do? I don't okay. know. What was it guys? Yeah, you have to tell us. Leave a comment remember. below. <laughs> Um, I don't remember. Yeah. What other one did we do? We did the super hot one. Yeah. We did the barbecue one. We did this one. And then we'll have one more left. We got teriyaki, but we did four. Didn't we do four? I thought we didn't. I Hang on, let's check did. this out. <laughs> okay, guys, so Mikey was right. This is the third one, not the fourth one. We only, we've only had two. Yeah. I thought we had three because it sure seemed to me like... I think you were thinking the macaroni and cheese ones that we did, maybe? No, I was thinking I did this, like this opening thing for like the fourth time. It just seemed like it's pretty repetitive. Mm -hmm. But we'll stay tuned for the chicken teriyaki. Yeah. So, again, two thumbs up and a seven. Two thumbs up and an eight. Yeah. I like so flavor. so far they're all they've all been good really good so they're worth a buck no mm. matter how you want to yeah say it so all right guys anything else to add nope just good yummy for my tummy sorry <laughs> she keeps I keep sliding the camera over that means she thinks that means for her to go over but. I'm trying to keep her in shot here. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. We're going for now. Don't forget to check her channel out and check out the uh, filming locations of Edward Scissorhands. Yes, it was so fun. So, we should be getting our pallets tomorrow, hopefully. Yes, I'm excited. But, yes, we did go to the house. We did meet the owner. I did get an interview. She's got the interview on hers as well. She's got um, different footage and stuff, so they're not identical. That's good. I just haven't uploaded mine yet, or haven't even started editing yet, because um, it takes me a long time. When I did the Jeepers Creepers one, I worked on that for, what, seven hours? It was a long day, too. I mean, that was yeah. a long day. And then I came home and edited seven hours. It was, what was it, like six o'clock in the morning before I got done editing? Something like that. Oh. It was a long day. Yeah, but I mean, editing was longer than what it took us to go film the locations. Yeah. You know, it took me over seven hours to edit that one. This one shouldn't take that long, but I'm still looking at... Huh? I don't think it'll be as bad. No, it won't. 
but because I don't have as much, but it still won't take four to five hours. Yeah. Because you know, even mine took a while. Well, yeah, but yeah. I mean, you know, doing all the cuts and everything and trying to get everything right. So, all right, guys, appreciate it. Have a good week. Hope you had a great weekend. So tomorrow, hopefully, our pilots will be here. Got another video about I ordered a bumper for the truck. <laughs> No. There's a story, and I got some screenshots of this stuff too. Mm. Well, the bumper came today. And <laughs> this is a it. joke. It's not the company's fault. No. Mm -mm. FedEx. Stay tuned for that video, so mm. I'm sure a lot of you guys will be able to relate to that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And again, have a safe week, and y'all be cool. We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye, guys. What? Aren't you going to do your. Bye. Oh. Bye. Like I said, she's out for now. Bye, y'all. Oh, Lord.